If you're watching this video because you personally have considered suicide, please know that God wants you to live. He is a God of life, and even if you can't see it in this dark moment, he has a bright future of hope for you. And that's why we want to help. Please remember that the National Suicide Prevention Line is available 24-7. You can find it by dialing 988. What's the best Bible passage when you're considering suicide? Oh man, my heart got heavy as I read that question that someone submitted during our church's annual Q&A Sunday. Um, they said that they repeatedly battle that thought of harming themselves. What's a, what's a good passage? What's the best passage to turn to? Well, there's certainly all kinds of passages that can give you hope, that can remind you of God's presence and his truth. But maybe one that pops into my head is actually one of the most famous passages in the Bible. Um, I, I would say it's famous because of the hope that it gives. And I would also say that it's perfect for this situation because of the context in which it was spoken. A famous passage comes from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Here's what it says. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Isn't that beautiful? Like God is declaring. This is official and authoritative. God says, for I know the plans I have for you. When you're thinking of harming yourself, you just don't see any future. There's no good plans that make life worth living. There's nothing that gives you hope and gets you excited about surviving and being alive for another day. But God says this, I, I know, you might not know, but I know the plans that I have for you. And those are good plans. He says, they're plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Plans, plans, plans. Three times in just one verse. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God is declaring that he has great plans for your future. Um, you might not be able to see it yet. I, I love the verb there. I know. You don't? I, I do, God declares. There is good reason to stay alive for another day. And what's so perfect about these words are the context. You might have noticed the verse I just quoted started with the word for. For I know the plans I have for you. When you see a word like for, you have to ask, well, what's it there for? <laughs> and the answer is because it's trying to connect you to the verse that came before it. And here's what it says. This is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. Um, do you know the context of the Old Testament? Um, God's people had been rebellious in Israel until God had taken them into exile all the way to a distant land called Babylon. And there they were, afraid, alone, suffering, depressed. They had lost hope. They were taken from their homes. They were in a really dark spot and it wasn't going to be over by tomorrow. Seventy years would pass until the people of Israel would head back home. That might have seemed like a reason to end their own lives or to give up all hope, to not think that anything good could possibly happen. But God said, for, for I know the plans I have for you. Even when you're, you're so far from where you want to be, even when you feel like you've lost so much of what you used to have, that's the context. These people were sitting in their depression and suffering and God showed up with one of the Bible's best promises. So I want you to know, if you're thinking of ending your life, uh, God loves you so much. Um, God has plans for tomorrow. If he didn't, he would have called you home already. God wants you to value life, including your own. You might not know it and you might not see it, but God speaks to people just like you, just like he did right here. And he says these words, For I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. B believe it, repeat it, remind yourself of it.